She's a bad thing. Fine as hell. Thick as fuck. Oh my god. That's my baby. Caroline. What's up, YouTube? It's your my love, and I'm back with another video. So, for this video today, it's gonna be another reaction video. Now, I wanna say this video is from um, TLC Network. But I don't know where the link is. I just seen it on Facebook and I saved it. You already know. You gotta save it. I don't wanna watch it. So I saved it because like the first snippet that I seen, I was like, what? But I ain't gonna lie, some of these people real life smart. Okay? So, I don't know what the title of it is. Oh, yes, they was like, let's talk about it. So baby, we, me and you, we gonna talk about it, okay? detergent does want to scam on people I learned how to conserve my detergent by my method at work drawing blood the measurements are very precise by using the amount that I put inside of the syringe it weighs out correctly so I'm not overdoing it I'm gonna save this okay wait 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 so, y'all see, she got a needle, put it in a detergent, and the fact that she got on gloves, <laughs> you got on gloves dealing with detergent? Okay, let's go, and now she taking the, uh, yeah, okay. because it's clean. Secondly, I don't have to buy cotton swabs. So I use it to remove my nail polish, my makeup. I'm using the lint right now to apply my compact powder on my face. It shades it out very good. Just as if a cotton swab would. I am not worried about how sanitized lint is. If the clothes have been dried and ran through the washer and they've been washed, therefore the lint is clean itself. Stephanie has countless money saving tactics. By using just one light bulb, Put your she face. moves from room to room. She saves more than $60 a month on her electric bill. Stephanie has a good job. She works at a doctor's office. She does have a lot of money saved up. She doesn't want to spend. Wait, 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 wait. They just said that she changes the light bulb as she moves to room to room. I ain't gonna lie, that's kind of smart, but who got time? Oh, let me take out the light bulb. I'm about to go in the living room. Let me take this out. I'm about to go in the bathroom. But if it's like, I don't know, 1 a.m. in the morning and you wake up at your sleep, like, do do she pee in the dark or... <laughs> do she pee in the dark or she keep the light bulb in the restroom at night? I got questions for Stephanie. Mm, nothing. It's just ridiculous. But I do it because I love Stephanie, so. That's love. In our house, we have what we call Navy showers. I'm not allowed to take long showers because Stephanie wants to save water for the water bill. I go in, turn water on, reach my body off. Cut the water off. Lather your body down, make sure you get every area so you don't miss anything. She can't come back to it. <laughs> and get out. I wonder if you take long showers when she got out. My full body. Like, I'm a grown ass man. I should be able to just in there take a manly shower. Turn it off! To keep her water bill down, Stephanie found a way to make sure Patrick sticks to a two minute shower. You can't take longer than a five minute or a two minute shower. But two minute? Two? What are you necessarily cleaning? I mean, I'm, I'm not judging them, but I'm just saying. Like, 
like, what? Huh? What? Hi, Stephanie. This is my reusable boiling water. Yes, I know it may be a little chunky. Girl, now she don't use no plastic for boiling some water. water. Well, I cut it on the water and put more water in the pot, dumping it, and then doing it all over again. So that's save my water. cooking because of shit like this okay y'all see how she just i think it was ranch i'm gonna say she put it back in there that person fork has probably been in the ranch or i don't know what they was eating it looked like salad or something you never know and then the piece of salsa she put it back in there but still though even though that salsa didn't get touched it was still in the noodles while they're mixing it up see look this is exactly why people don't eat everybody cooking because of stuff like this. And people be like, my uncle always tell me if somebody offer you some food, you know, eat it because that's the polite thing to do. No, I'm not doing that. I'm going to save this pasta sauce for the next spaghetti dinner. We do not have to be cheap. We really don't. She has money, I have money. Like, what's the point of being so cheap or... I, that I mean, if you got money, money, then why are you not? She's been too cheap. With a strict monthly food budget of four hundred dollars, there's no room in Stephanie's world for extra expenses, including entertaining guests. Patch <laughs> really wants to have a football party. I am very unhappy about people coming over to our house. I really beg to have people over. <laughs> Like he a teenager. Mom, can my friend come over? Having people over to the house means Stephanie's pockets are getting dug into. And I do not like that. I'm not gonna change what I do to impress your friends. You wanted this party. You know how things go in our house. Come on. No. This is dollar cents. Stephanie. I'm just not with the whole people coming over thing. I so y'all think about it when she have kids. I mean, when her kids girl get older, <laughs> can't nobody spend a night over the house. Ah, <laughs> uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. If my mom was that type of cheap, I wouldn't even bother having a friend over. No, you know how they be like, ask your mom if I come over. No, nah, girl, I'm just asking if I come over there. Cause look. Okay. <laughs> Very uncomfortable hosting a football party at our house, but I love Patrick. This football party is throwing my monthly budget way off course. What's the monthly budget? It's not a touchdown for me. Her nails cute. I wonder if she goes to her shop. When I buy fruits and vegetables, I want to pay for what I eat, not for what I don't eat. There's no need to pay for the vine if all I'm eating is the grapes. Y'all see that? <laughs> Y'all see that woman in the bed? Yo. Probably I'm gonna need about three of these. My bananas? I'm not gonna eat the whole of the banana. I eat the banana itself. By removing the peels, pits, and stems from fruits and vegetables before they're weighed at the register, Stephanie saves up to three dollars per shopping trip. I have never seen anyone. Girl, let me be in Walmart. And I see someone. Yes, ma'am. What can I do for you? Um, Girl. I'm going to be making a lasagna. Um, so I'm going to need some ground beef. By any chance, if you have any other ground beef that's already left over, it's all sold. We sell it on a daily basis, fresh all the time. Okay. And so there's nothing that would expire. Oh no, ma'am. We, 
expired. Yeah, we don't sell expired product here. No true meat market would ever do that. Can I see what your beef fat looks like? Sure, I'll be right back. All right. Excuse me a Thank you. Wow, and how much would two pounds of the beef fat be? Let me cut a piece off and we'll get close to two pounds as we can, all right? Okay. 1.97. And how much is that? Two dollars and fifty-three cents, ma'am. I will take the beef back. You'll take the beef back. I'm satisfied with that. I have my ground beef over here. I'm going to stretch out the beef by adding the rest of this or whatever's left from this to stretch it out for the lasagna. By supplementing the meat with the beef fat. Okay, look, 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 hold up, pause for the mother calls. Girl, wait. Wait. Sus. You saved 75% on the ingredients for her lasagna. This is why we save the sauce. Mm -mm. Now to save money, I multitask with washing dishes and cooking meals with my dishwasher. I just got to make sure I wrap it really well or else the food will get wet. With the dishwasher reaching a temperature of 170 degrees, the lasagna will be fully cooked in one and a half hours without using the additional gas of an oven. Who else might put these dishes in here, huh? The lasagna is in the dishwasher and it's cooking. Fish, hot dogs, lasagna. I'm telling you, I do it all the time. Hey, girl. Hey, Mr. Adrian. Hey, so why would you beg her to have people over? for her household hey that's your business not mine but you have people over your house and this is why I said earlier in the video this is why people don't eat everybody cooking the fact that she took out the lasagna I cannot imagine being at somebody's house and they'd be like oh yeah you know uh, my wife cooked I'm like, all right, cool, you know, like, yeah. And next thing I look over, she's taking out the lasagna out of the dishwasher. I would be disturbed. Okay, um, the little, um, 
length from the dryer on your face. I mean, her skin look kind of good. It might, it might work. Might work. Woohoo. And then at the store, she literally sat there and picked up, picked out the grapes. I'm not about, I'm not eating the whatever it's called things. So I don't need it. Uh, I could peel the banana because I'm not eating that part. Girl, what? I don't know. They didn't show in the um in the video like what she actually did with the stuff that she was peeling and taking apart. Stephanie, baby, you know what you do at your house is your business. Cool, but when you have company, sis. Company and if your husband, he wrong. You already know how cheap your wife is. Why you even invited people over? You knew what the deal was, did you not? You you knew she was cooking that lasagna in the dishwasher. You knew that. All I gotta say is more to this video. People don't eat everybody cooking, okay? This is the exact reason why people do not eat everybody cooking. Wow. That's going to be the end of this video, okay? And if you go to somebody's house and you know they family cooking and stuff, make sure, you know, you trust they cooking methods, okay? That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you want more reaction videos. Make sure you like this video. Like this video. Peace.